Hi, I wanted to show you guys today something I've done just for a bit of fun. I've made um, a, a sort of cross link between Zello and the walkie talkie here so I can talk on my phone and receive it on the walkie talkie. I've just set it up now so it's not fine tuned or anything but it seems to be working alright. If I show you, if I talk here on the walkie talkie it should come up on the phone. One, two, three. Audio desk. Three. Audio desk. There we go. And if I talk on the phone. One, two, three. Testing. Oh, had the volume down. If I turn that up again. One, two, three. Testing. Now it does do a little bit of the um, audio coming back through on here but I don't think that can be avoided because I'm using Vox on this and I'll show you how it's set up over here I've got my scanner set on channel 5 with the uh, DCS46 and that's sending the audio through here into the mic of the computer and this radio here is uh, on Vox, you can see the Vox in there just above my finger and the audio that comes out of the computer there goes along that cable uh, through a little converter to convert it to 2.5 there uh, and into here which broadcasts it and on the computer I've got Zello open and I've got it set to Vox on on a channel and whenever it hears any audio from here it will play that on the Zello channel and the same way the other way around whenever this hears any audio on the Zello channel it will play it over the radio channel so I'll just show you it in action again one two three one two three it worked quite nicely and this is like a really cheap way to to kind of implement those systems that you see that they want to charge you for this solution but here's a here's a free way to do it. So one, two, three, solo test. That can get a bit annoying that. Solo test one, two, three. And this is very useful if you just want to have people talking on their smartphones to a radio group. Uh, maybe people who wouldn't be in the coverage of the radio system. And next I'm going to go over to a screencast and show you on the computer how it's set up in Zello. So here we have Zello. Um, and here's how you can set up the Vox. So you, once you set up the Vox, you click this lock thing here. And if you don't have the Vox turned on, then it will transmit continuously on the channel. Uh, but you don't really want to do that. You want to have it on Vox. So if you go into Tools and Options, you can go into Vox and you can set the settings here. Um, but you have to where's it gone you have to click enable vox for hands free and you have to make sure that box there is ticked and then you can go over to the vox settings um, you have to adjust the activation threshold so that it only activates when someone talks because otherwise if you have it too um, too sensitive then it will activate all the time and when nobody's talking so that will just annoy all the users and then if you have it too high up it won't activate at all or it will only activate when there's really really loud noise but it won't activate when people are talking normally so that will be useless uh, then you have to set the trigger time which the trigger time is the time the time it takes for a transmission to trigger the Vox to start transmitting on Zello and the relaxation time is 
how long it takes before it stops. So if there's silence for this many milliseconds, then it will stop transmitting on the channel. So after you've applied those settings, you just click on the channel you want, click that, and it's ready to go. So that's how you can make a crosslink between Zello and PMR446. Uh, you can use it for any time, any type of radio system really, as long as you've got uh, some kind of some way of keying up the radio. I hope this has been useful for someone, but for me it was just a bit of a fun project to do. Thanks for watching.